Hey, Aaron Overholzer here for the C3i Wedge, and we're at Talking Stick Golf Club in Scottsdale, Arizona, on the back of the range at their gorgeous facility back here, their short game facility that's so nice. We've got a shot here of about some 20 or 25 yards to that green flag, and kind of coming, coming over a bunker. Kind of a scary shot for a lot of amateurs. Uh, you've got a little bit of grass to work with over the bunker, and then you've got a lot more ground to cover than you do green to cover. So you've got to get the ball up in the air and you've got to loft it. But this is one shot that you guys uh, have to kind of gauge on, on how you want to play it. How do you want to approach it? Kind of what is your MO? What are you trying to do? What do you have in your bag? What kind of wedges do you have in your bag? Do you have a 59 degree? Do you have a 65 degree? All this, do you have a 56 degree? How firm is the green? How soft is the green? How fast is the green? How slow is the green? All the things that you need to take into, into consideration before you play the shot so that you know what type of shot is going to give you the best chance for a result. Are you nervous at that time? Are, uh, is there something big on the line? Do you just need to get it on the green to give yourself an opportunity? Or are you trying to get close to maybe win a bet from your buddy? Do you need to get it close? All these things need to come into consideration before you take the club back and hit this shot. So those are the, that's the kind of the way I want you guys to think before you step in and hit this shot. Standard shot, basically, if you're trying to get it close, you'd probably want to loft it a little higher um, if you feel comfortable with that. So you'd set up to the ball, you'd get in, you'd pick a spot that you want to land it on maybe some two or three yards onto the green. The green's not fast, it's a little slow. It's a little firmer than I thought it would be uh, today. So you'd pick a shot, you'd pick a spot on the green, maybe some, like I said, two to three yards on, maybe four yards on. Wind's coming off the right pretty hard, so as the ball gets up in the air, the, ball, the wind's gonna move the ball. So maybe you line up, oh, a yard or two right of the flag. Look at that spot, come back to the ball. Ball's up in your stance because you're trying to hit it high, and then just make the golf swing. Not bad. Wind didn't really move it a lot. Okay. Let's say you're nervous. Let's say you're, you're up on your buddy, you're trying to win another bet, but you've already got a lot of bets secured, and all you really need to do is just give yourself an opportunity. You're not trying to get it really close within that five or six foot circle. So with this shot, basically all you want to do, you're, you're fine, okay, I'm fine hitting it 10 feet by the hole. I'm cool with that. So play it a little bit further back and make sure you get good contact. Play it a little lower, maybe you land it a yard on the green. Maybe you land it even just short of the green, which is fine as long as it's coming in a lower trajectory, okay? and bring it in lower and get that ball to run a little bit more, but assure yourself that you're not gonna dump it short of the green. Safe. I'm 10, 12, maybe 15 feet by the flag, but I'm safe. I've got a putt. I didn't dump it in the bunker. I didn't leave it short of the green. I gave myself a putt at it. These are the kind of decisions that I want you guys to start making around the greens based on situation. This is situational golf, and, that's, and situational golf are what professionals are best at most, for most of the time. Sometimes they get in their own way and they, they, they don't recognize the situation and they hit the wrong shot during that situation. But these are the kind of things that I think you guys can learn from um, understanding the situation you're in and what you have that day with your wedges. Can you hit that shot? Uh, are you, is it available to you? Do you feel comfortable hitting that shot? And if not, what's your default shot? Can, do you have a default shot that you can go to to where you give yourself an opportunity? Will your ego allow you to hit that default shot to give yourself that 10 footer or 15 footer and just say, you know what, I'm happy with that. I'm gonna try to make a putt. At worst, I'm gonna make bogey. Um, better than making double by trying to play a shot that I can't play and potentially dumping it short of the green, having to chip again or dumping it in the bunker and having it hit a bunker shot. Situational golf is important at every level if you want to get better. And so many guys pick the wrong shot that I see around the green uh, for the situation that they're in and it costs them strokes. Stop costing yourself strokes. Read the situation correctly. Read yourself correctly and what you can and can't do that day 
and try to shoot the best score you possibly can by eliminating the big number. The decision making is just as important as the execution of the golf shot most of the time.